What is up ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world as you guys can see we are back here in 2k23 universe mode live here for NXT and we are kicking things right off with the second round of the semi-finals of the NXT breakout tournament as you can see the first man who made it this far the high-flying NXT Heritage Cup champion none other, none other than Nathan Frazier will be in action here tonight as he looks to earn the opportunity to challenge any champion here on NXT of his choosing after coming up against some of the greats that we've had so far here on this channel including Wesley and even the homie Flip Gordon on NXT Level Up Nathan Fraser looks to take his stock just a little bit higher as he hopes to make it to the finals go to NXT TakeOver as he tonight unfortunately has to try to contend with the son of the ECW legend the homie Hook Even in this new way, the announcers still find a way to cut me off. But even with that said, the homie Hook live here tonight in Orlando for NXT for the semifinals. Hook, who has made it this far after defeating some very much hard-hitting and tough opponents. But tonight, he looks to go on to face the, number, the winner between Alex Hammerstone and Apollo Crews. Hook, who was a former FTW World Champion back in the other company that shall not be named. But tonight looks to make his own way. And as you guys know, the NXT Breakout Tournament was all about finding the next champion, the next contender for the NXT Championship, or any champion on this brand. The ref ring the bell, and the two men immediately went at it. The homie Hook tried to establish dominance in the early goings, hitting a fisherman suplex on Nathan Fraser, but only getting a count of one. Hook would continue the assault here tonight on Nathan Fraser, not even giving a, this man a minute to even breathe or even get him a moment of clarity to get back into this matchup. And when I say Hook is relentless, trust me, he proves why he is. He proves why he's called the cold-hearted, handsome devil. Taking down Nathan Fraser, Hook felt like he was on top of the world, even had a little bit of fun with the crowd. But the match really started to take a turn right here when Hook... Even though he is a submission genius, he locked in that triangle choke. Unfortunately, Nathan Fraser, being the resilient fighter that he is, was able to fend it off and get that submission hold unlocked. Nathan Fraser would not go help, would not hold off there. He brought the fight to Hook as, as he hit that queen suplex. Nathan Fraser even tried to take Hook out of his comfort zone by hanging him up to dry on the ropes. And Hook, being the smart guy that he is, took it to the outside trying to get himself some breathing room. But just like Hook did to him, Nathan Fraser did not give him a minute to recover. But Hook, with all that ingenuity and all that background in mixed martial arts, was able to get the momentum back into his corner, not willing to let Nathan Fraser sh overshadow or upstage him. And it took us a minute for these two to get these, uh, the action back into the ring. These two would go back and forth right in front of us. But Nathan Fraser was able to trip the leg of Hook and able to shift the momentum in the way that he wanted. But again, you can never count out the son of Taz. Hook would keep fighting the rights of the body and would eventually bring the fight right back into the ring. And it was there that we thought Hook had the upper hand throughout the rest of this match. But unfortunately, Hook would try to get back some offense against Nathan Fraser. But Fraser, being the Heritage Cup champion, knowing what it's like to be in a position like this, would not make it easy for Hook. If, as we got further into the match, Hook would still be able to gain the upper hand on the smaller opponent as Hook would mercilessly target the limbs, especially the arms, of Nathan Fraser. It locked, and it looked like it could have been the end as right there, Hook hit that T-bone suplex, immediately followed it up with a red rum sleeper hold made famous by his father. But Nathan Fraser, just like he was able to get out of the triangle choke, able to get out of red rum. And it was right there where it looked like Nathan Fraser was going to mount some offense. And he very much did, even hitting an overhead suplex, catching Hook by his hair and neck, able to take the former FTW champion off his feet. And we couldn't count out Nathan Fraser. You never can. And he really showed why he's made it this far in this tournament, taking the fight to Hook, even hitting this devastating half and half suplex, dropping Hook right on his head. And it really looked like it was a paradigm shift of styles here between Nathan Fraser and Hook. And it really looked like Nathan Fraser was trying to confuse or even get in the mind of Hook.
trying to take a page out of his playbook going after the arm and that was very smart by Nathan Frazier if he takes out the arm hook could not be able to lock in red rum and and home in the homie hook he had his arm targeted throughout the middle stages of that match but even through the pain even through fighting all that he's been withstood here tonight hook would still be able to fend off Nathan Frazier he would still be able to come back hit another head trap half and half suplex dropped Nathan Fraser on his head and then immediately followed it up with the red rum in the center of the ring with nowhere to go nowhere to stretch out to Nathan Fraser unfortunately had no choice but to submit to hook and with red rum overshadowing Nathan Fraser here tonight it shows why hook is the cold-hearted handsome devil and hook will move on in the NXT breakout tournament And as you ladies and gentlemen just saw, those were the results of the confrontation between Nathan Frazier and the homie Hook. As we now see that Hook will challenge the winner of our next NXT breakout tournament match between Alex Hammerstone and Apollo Crews. But to sum up the rest of NXT, this is what the rest of our match card looked like tonight. In order to kick us off here on NXT, we had a five-man match here tonight. that involved Joe Gacy, Dijak, Jinder, Modern Day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal, the debuting Eddie Thorpe, and the Tsar, Ilya Dragunov. As you can see, the former NXT UK champion was able to come out victorious. And just a little, just a little over... A little under a week, I should actually say, before they clash with Toxic Attraction for the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. Caden Carter and Katana Chance take on the Unholy Alliance between Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. As you guys can see, came out successful. And as you guys saw at the highlights earlier, the Heritage Cup champion Nathan Frey came up a little short against the homie Hook. With that said, Hook will challenge either Hammerstone or Apollo Crews this Sunday at NXT TakeOver for the FFC who is the winner of the NXT breakout tournament and will earn a shot at any title here on NXT that they want. But with that said, let's continue on with what we got here for you guys tonight. And now here we go, matchup begins, and uh-oh, Nikita Lyons accidentally pushed AC Jane into the ref, and now both women are dug it, thugging it out. One explosive way to start off this episode of NXT. As we all know, Nikita Lyons, who's gotten the upset over the NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose over the last number of weeks, will challenge her this Sunday at TakeOver for the NXT Women's title. But it seems like Mandy Rose's girls of Toxic Attraction are starting to get under the skin of Nikita Lyons. As the ref's still taken down. After that huge altercation before the match even started. And oh, JC with that huge bicycle pump kick. And that just completely rocked Nikita. And it looks like the ref is finally back up on his feet. And remember, JC Jane had clear pecking orders from Mandy Rose, from the NXT Women's Champion. Bruise up Nikita Lions as much as possible, as much as you, damage as you can inflict. But with that said, Nikita Lions, look at this. Is a woman who does not know when to quit. Nikita Lyons is a fighter. It's the reason why she holds two victories over the current NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose. And she could likely get another one in just a few short days. And Nikita Lyons feeding off the energy of the NXT Universe. We're in her corner. At least it seems like that for the time being. And look at this. The strikes, those pure strikes. The Undertaker would be proud. Nikita with a spiking DDT takes one half of the NXT Women's Champion off her game. Quickly into a cover, ref into the count, count of two, not enough. And if you're Mandy Rose, you got to be paying attention to this. You got to be watching how Nikita Lyons is operating. And JC immediately takes down Nikita Lyons. And now even more with a neck breaker. And a lot is going to happen this Sunday at NXT TakeOver. We are going to see the finals of the NXT Breakout Tournament. But also we are going to see the NXT title on the line. I'll get more into that in a minute. But JC Jane after that huge bicycle pump kick only keeps Nikita Lyons down for a count of one. 
And now Nikita. Oh, the chop block. Takes JC off her feet. But JC now immediately able to assume control. And now, oh, stiff shot. And now here comes Nikita Lyons. Two good clotheslines. But JC went for the bicycle pump kick yet again. But Nikita, if that MMA background that she has. And that, oh, what a huge kick. It follows it up with that patented leg drop. Shoulders are down, hooks both legs, and Nikita Lyons is victorious. Mandy Rose, that was a clear-cut message to you. And it looks like Nikita is ready to become our new NXT Women's Champion. But the question is, will it happen? You'll have to find out this Sunday. But ladies and gentlemen, I hate to say it, it's time to close out this episode. But we have a huge and good main event for you all here tonight. And now it's main event time. Apollo Crews, Alex Hammerstone meet in the center of the ring. And Alex extending the hand of respect. Apollo, is he going to take it? And he does. So a good level of respect between Apollo and Hammerstone. And now Apollo with a jumping clothesline immediately out of the gate. And Apollo quick as a K. Not giving Hammerstone any time to get together, but Hammerstone a little too quick there. Can never count out my boy Hammer. And here comes Hammerstone trying to mount some offense, but Apollo Crews, this is a former IC champion. A man who's been at the top. And now Apollo, oh, it looks like that level of respect just went straight out the window. Apollo, Irish whips Hammerstone, goes over, and a huge pop-up power slam. But Hammerstone, with that big frame, able to reverse and come back into this. And Hammerstone caught in the fireman's carry by Apollo. He gets hung up to dry on the top. And remember, Apollo Cruz is fighting for the opportunity that he feels was stolen from him was robbed of him in his first run. And now look at the strength of Apollo on full display. And immediately followed Hammerstone right outside. And now with a Tiger Driver 98. I don't think I've ever seen this side of Apollo. But now immediately, my boy Hammer, the former MLW World Champion, the first ever national openweight champion and also in Major League Wrestling. Immediately able to shift the tides. And now Hammer, oh, huge hesitation drop kick. And now Hammer, oh, caught Apollo. Apollo tried to use his quickness, but Hammer quickly able to adapt. And that's what I like about Hammer. Hammerstone's a guy who's easily able to adapt, as you see right there with a huge bicycle knee. Caught Apollo on the jaw, but it's not enough. And another one caught Apollo. And Hammerstone saying, this will keep you down as he hits a huge bicycle pump kick. Just dropped Apollo right on the jaw. Cover a two, but still only a two. And boy, and our boy Hammer, he's hammering up. And I think I know what he's looking for. He was looking for the Nightmare Pendulum. But Apollo, too quick, into the corner. Oh, got stunned. I think Apollo hit the top of the post. But Apollo not going to let that phase him. As he tried to use his quickness yet again. But Hammerstone has Apollo up. Suplex position, Nightmare Pendulum. Doesn't hook the leg, he probably doesn't have to, and Apollo gets bested here tonight.
take nothing away from Apollo. He put up one hell of a fight. But the power of Hammer pushes him to the to the end to the main event of the breakout tournament. It's now official. Alex Hammerstone, Hook, and NXT TakeOver. Who will be the winner of the NXT Breakout Tournament? Who will win an opportunity for the NXT title? Find out at, at NXT TakeOver. But with that said, that is all we have here for NXT. Remember, we are still on the grind to at least 100 subscribers. So keep up the good work, ladies and gentlemen. Keep showing your support at the channel. Like, subscribe, share for more. And with that said, see you all for SmackDown. Because that's an episode of SmackDown that you are not going to want to miss.